वेलकम टू माय प्रोजेक्ट आइडियाज दिस इज एन ऑन गोइंग सीरीज ऑन एस ए पी यू आई फाइव प्रोजेक्ट एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो विल लर्न हाउ टू कन्वर्ट एन एक्सेल फाइल इन टू जेसन डेटा दिस इज ए वेरी जेनरिक सीनैरियो इन एस ए पी यू आई फाइव एप्लीकेशन वेयर यू अपलोड एन एक्सेल फाइल कन्वर्ट इन इन टू जेसन डेटा एंड देन सेंड दर डेटा इन बैक एंड फॉर बैच प्रोसेसिंग सो अ फ्यू प्री रेक्विजिट आर हेयर लाइक यू नीड टू हैव बेसिक नॉलेज ऑफ जावा स्क्रिप्ट यू शुड हैव IDE access it means you can use business application studio or web id for the development and then you should have basic knowledge of sap ui file so before jumping into the actual coding part we have also written an article for you the link of the article will be added in the description of the video and in this particular article you can go through all the theoretical knowledge and also we have mentioned you know the coding part so whatever code we are going to discuss in this video is already mentioned here you can visit this article copy and paste and it will perform the same functionality that we are going to perform just now and also we have attached the input uh, sample and the output that will be generated based on this sample so let's get to the demo first so i will just uh, upload a file that i already have so the file name is test document let me open a file for you you see name age place is there and once it is uploaded the same is reflecting here so in this way you are getting an array of multiple objects and each object is having these three fields name age and place now you can send these objects in the back end right and this can be uploaded into table as per the requirement so i will just go to ide to explain you the entire code so it's a very generic and very simple scenario so there are a multiple ways of implementing it and here we are using uh, an external library called excel sx so to integrate this library there are two ways you can either visit you know this particular link so if i just uh, click here and try to you know open up this link Let me open up here. So you will see a JavaScript file will open up. So what you can do is like either you can integrate this Excel link directly in the HTML the way we have integrated here using the script tag, or you can visit this particular link, download this data, and upload in a folder. So you could can create a folder called JS folder, and then you can from controller call that particular file. so both will work similarly so once you are done with the integration of this particular script the second thing you have to do is like uh, create an upload option right so if you see here we have a title and upload option here and then we have a text area where we are showcasing uh, the data so if you see we have file uploader here a text area to showcase data and a title here so these three are the things that we are using in our application now one more thing is there like you can actually bind this data directly to a table so for that you can add a table over here in place of text area and whatever data you are getting in the controller by id you can bind that data to that particular table as of now we are binding data not binding actually we are setting data in text area so in terms of controller so we have nothing in definition nothing in the cycle on in it we have one function that function call is from this file uploader called on file upload on file upload right and what we do is like we get from the event we get the file so event will show me what are excel file i have uploaded and then the file is read using the reader and now what happens whenever the file is read inside that we we are calling something called uh, excel sx dot read so till here reading is a part of sap ui5 functionality once the data is read you have to actually convert that data that uh, binary data or you can say uh, that object into json right so excel sx can be now used directly the functions of excel sx is global now because you have used the script right and then using the read command whatever data is there in the java uh, the, this excel sheet file you can just pass it and you can extract array 
so workbook will extract all the worksheets and then the worksheets can be extracted like the first sheet can be extracted like this and then this worksheet can be passed to this function called xlsx.utils.sheet to json so it can convert a particular sheet into the form of json since in our use case we have only one sheet sheet one that's why it is uh, just passing zeroth like the first value and uh, once the data is converted we are showcasing it into console so if i just open the console here We'll close it. We'll try to upload to showcase that uh, in the console. Also, we can show. Actually, uh, this is a good thing. We cannot show, or we can. I guess I will try it out. You see, in the console also it is showing the data. So this is the raw JSON data, but we are showcasing in the stringified version because. Uh, the elements cannot accept raw JSON data. They only understand the strings. So that's why we convert that JSON data into form of string. And then we are setting this text area value. So that's the part we are doing in the reader. So apart from that, this is a standard way, you know, to uh, read the buffer files. So this also is required here. So once you are done with this, then the data will start working. So let's, let's uh, do the entire operation in form of debugging so what i will do is like i will clear it out everything i will refresh the link and i will go to source within source i will set my file for controller it is called main controller and i will add a debugging here click browse choose a file let me change some data also to showcase like okay this is actually something that is not fake so i will call it my project ideas it is almost two years that we started and we are in no idea of now so i hope this is fine and we'll just browse it out and we'll get the file now the file is having the excel file fine it is getting from the event dot get parameters and passing the files and the first file so you can upload multiple files right not using this particular file uploader but other file uploaders are there where you can get multiple files so o event can give you multiple files because it comes into an array so we, we are getting the first file and once you are done with this you can just go to the next step so to go to next step we will press this one and you will see the reader has read the entire file and uh, we cannot see the data as of now so what we'll do, we'll go inside, press this. Now in data, we'll read the data. You see the data is showing all the Excel sheets, possible sheets. Everything is coming here like this. But still it is not in the form of data that you will understand. So we'll keep going on. So now the workbook is read. Now worksheet will be read like inside this particular access file multiple sheets can be there the entire file is called workbook and that particular sheet is called worksheet if you go to next so worksheet is read you see this is exactly the format excel follows a1 a2 a3 i go here a1 a2 a3 it will be like name and all so we'll just uh, see what, what is it is showing name rudra deepak Sakib, right so in this way it will go fine it seems i have not saved it out what yeah that's why old data is coming so i'll again move out to the next part json data is converted like this and also console is being shown like this the next step will show the data here in the screen make sense i will try to upload once again so that the latest changes are also reflected you see my project ideas is 
in places so in this way you can simply convert an excel file into json data i hope you like this video in case of any issue you can always drop a comment in the comment section thank you